Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, and this is a cannabis business podcast. Cannabis normalization comes in a lot of different forms. One is recycled packaging. Not necessarily a sexy topic, but one that needs its attention. There's an ocean-friendly approach to cannabis packaging with Santa packaging. So this particular product is not necessarily a quick biodegradable product, but much better than plastics that are not recyclable. In Washington State, we have an issue with the dupe tubes, as we call them, for pre-rolls. It's plastic, it's not recyclable, and it's considered an open container. So the laws need to change in more than one way. With cannabis legalization working its way across the country, more and more cannabis products are being produced and sold. With the increase in sales comes a growing concern about the waste generated from packaging materials and how to make this part of the burgeoning industry more sustainable. It's estimated that between 4.8 and 12.7 million tons of plastic materials make its way into the ocean annually, according to a 2015 study. Due to regulations and cost, cannabis packaging has to be childproof and affordable, leading producers to use heavy-duty plastics, many of which can't be recycled. Some brands in the industry have responded by using recyclable materials such as glass, cardboard, cork, and hemp-based plastics. A new company, Santa Packaging, has created a line of packaging for cannabis products using plastics removed from the ocean. This project is the first of its kind in the cannabis industry and could help solve the question of how to keep cannabis packaging sustainable while also protecting the ocean. And with that, we're going to roll this one up. This is Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, and I'm out.